Okay, let me help you, Emma. Thank you. Morning. Morning, Ellie. Oh, hi, Ellie. Hello, Ellie, honey. How are you doing, Morning? I've been drawing the air. I picked up the milk. Three and two. Mm. Harkness steps out, grabs some dirt, glances the third for a signal, steps back in. The outfield is deep. And it's a what? Well, let's hear it. I think your radio's gone dead. Harvey, Harvey, can you do something here? Quick. Yeah, hurry up, Harvey. Harvey. Of all time for it this stops. thing to go out. Just stop right there. The last pitch. What is Battery's dead. That's oh, just right. great. Why don't you plug it in the house circuit? No electricity generator give out last night. Well, then why ain't you out there fixing it? He can't. We're waiting for the new armature to come from town. Well, look, can you put in a call to see how the pitch went? That's an idea. Ellen, honey, phone the sheriff's office and find out who won the series. You sure? By gum, I've made up my mind. I'm moving into town. Oh, you'll never move to town, Cobb. This is Ellen. You were born up here in this miserable mining camp. You'll die in it. Thank you. The last pitch struck him out. <laughs> How do you like that? You mean them Yanks won again? What else? Uh, you owe me 50 cents, Reverend. Uh, thank you. <laughs> I'd like to buy some supplies, man. Ten pound sack of flour. Five pounds of sugar. Did you walk up here, young fella? I don't see your car outside. You mean you walked all the way up this mountain? It's over 85 miles to the nearest town. And it's not walking either. It's climbing. Almost straight up. Uh, four boxes of 30 out six ammunition. Going hunting, eh? My uh, wife, Henriette, and me, we rent out cabins to hunters and such. Ha have you got a place to stay? Uh, yes. Uh, you didn't say just where you might be staying. No. I'll uh, need a saw, a hammer, and some eight penny nails. Saw a hammer and eight penny nails? You ain't figuring on building yourself a cabin, are you? No. Well, if you ain't gonna build yourself a cabin, would you mind telling us what you need them tools for? Yes. Yes, yes what? Yes, I'd mind telling you. I'm Reverend Larson. And this Bacon? Bacon. And this is Doc Baines here. But uh, I'm not an MD. I'm a veterinarian. My practice is confined pretty much to sheep. You see, this is mostly sheep herding country up here. And this is Harvey Farnsworth. He helps Hugh and Ellen around the store here. And that's Cobb Wiley over there. If you have any questions about the area here, we'll be happy to answer them for you. Won't we, boys? Oh, sure, sure. You can count on us. Thank you. I'll take that gray coffee pot and 10 pounds of coffee. Well, how much does that come to altogether? 87.23. I, I think that's right. Well, I'm sure it's fine. 
It's a hundred dollar bill. Looks all right to me. Give me his change. I understand you have a couple of burrows. I'd like to buy one. How'd you know that I... I'll give you $100 for your best one. I've never met you before, have I? Well, who told you about my burrows? If you get the burrow, I'd like to load him and be on my way. Go on, take it. You got no use for them burrows. They're just ornery pits. Well, all right. Aristotle's the best one, but I won't part with him. You can have Plato. I'll go get him. There, I'll give you a hand with this. You see that? All hundred dollar bills, every one of them, I bet. How many do you think, Harv? Uh... I don't know, it must have been two, maybe three thousand dollars. Yeah. Why would a man carry all that cash with him up in the mountains? There you are. You're all set. Thank you. I believe he's the most close-mouthed fella. He's an odd one, all right. The biggest, too. Excuse me. That the uh, weight of the high number one? High number one? Did I hear you right? You going up to high number one? That's right. Just what are you planning to do up there? Planning on minding my own business. Is that the way? Yep, that's the trail. Hey, mister, you want some advice? There's nothing worth going up there for. That old mine's been closed more than 40 years. You know, Doc, he's plumb crazy. Maybe not. Maybe he's going up there to hide out or something. But Harvey, we all know he's going up there. So he's not too good at hiding, is he? Well, at least we should know more about him. Well, he seems to know more about us, Doc's Burroughs, for instance, than we know about him. Think maybe you uh, ought to call the sheriff, you? That's quite a climb up here. Took me uh, three hours and ten minutes. Is that about right? That's about right. Of course, you probably made it faster with those legs of yours. You make it down in about two hours. Yeah, it, 
Should be faster going down. Yeah, so this is high number one. That's a magnificent view. You know, I've never been up here before. I uh, don't know anyone who has. Just doesn't seem to be any good reason to come up here. Is there? Say, uh, could we talk a while? I'd rather you didn't stay. I'm sorry. I don't know why you came up here. I didn't ask you to come. I don't want anybody up here, Reverend. Any particular reason? Do I have to have a reason? <laughs> well, no, I, uh, I guess you don't. Look, I don't want you to think I'm prying into your affairs because I'm not. I just climbed up here to, to be friendly, and that's all. This place belongs to me. I don't want anybody up here. If you go back down, I'd appreciate it if you'd tell the others. All right, I'll tell them. If that's what you want. Look, uh, when I visit people in the mountains here, I usually spend the night. Everybody expects me to. I don't. I'm sorry. I'm not asking you for anything. I have my own food. I won't bother you. You just don't realize it, do you? Realize what? That you've already bothered me. <laughs> yes, I, uh, I guess you're right. I have. Let's see, uh, what was that? Uh, the right to be let alone is the right most valued by civilized man. The Supreme Court Justice said that. And I agree with him. So? Goodbye. And good luck. Fifteen two. Fifteen two. Fifteen four and a pair makes six. Ramsey General Store. Oh, just a minute, please. It's the sheriff calling back. Oh. Hello, Sheriff. Did you find out anything about that fella I asked you about? Oh? Wolf? His name is David Wolf. How's that? With an E? Wolf with an E on it. How'd you find out? How'd you find out his name, Sheriff? He signed a claim he filed last Tuesday. I remember the man. He was a great big fella. He didn't say much, but he knew what he wanted. That's right. The claims lapsed years ago on that old mine. It was a matter of public domain. Well, I don't know how he knew about it, but he did. It was a valid claim. Well, Sheriff, frankly speaking... Uh, come here. Oh, Sheriff, this is Harvey Farnsworth. Hugh's not getting into cross. About this man, Wolf. He's peculiar. We want to know if you got anything on him, if he's wanted anywhere. I'll check the wanted bulletins when I get time. Meanwhile, why don't all of you try to relax? Aren't we in this district? He acts like we're foreigners.
going down the trail right now. That big fella that thinks he knows more than all of us. Why do you say that? Well, you heard what the Reverend said. He don't want any of us up there. Now we're going down for Bob Wire. Keep folks off that mountain better than that no trespassing sign. What no trespassing sign? You put up one. You went up there? I want up to look. I need some more things. Do you have any lumber? What kind of lumber? Mounds is full of it. You got an axe and a saw. You're talking about timber. I want to buy some lumber. Daddy, we must have some lumber. No, we'd have to order it from town. Take at least a week. Well, that's all right. There's a list of the things I need. You sure got a wad there, Mr. Wolf. This ought to cover everything on the list, plus care and feed for the burrow. If you don't mind my leaving him here till the lumber's delivered. David Wolf, isn't it? That's right. We know all about you now. Well, that's fine. I wasn't trying to hide anything. Wait a minute! You think you can come down here, hand an order in, and then just fill it? We'll fill your order, Mr. Wolf. Thank you. The sheriff's checking up on you right this minute. You call the sheriff? To find out who you are and where you got all that money you've been flashing around. Sheriff Willard told us your name. I would have told you that. I'd never seen her do anything like that before. You suppose she's took with that fella? I just... I just wanted to say... How long you been back? Not even six months. Five months, I guess. That ought to be long enough. But they don't see many strangers up here. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Helen! Come back here! You hear me? I don't see very many strangers up here. My name is Juan Vallejo. What's yours? David Wolf. Wolf, eh? <laughs> the enemy of all the sheep herders. <laughs> you hungry? I got cheese, wine. Ah, uh, no, thank you. You need a guide? Why, are you interested in earning some money? Maybe. When the truck comes to town, there's some lumber and other things I've ordered. Would you like to load them onto my burrow, bring them up to the mine? Why not? All right. There's a big rock about 100 yards below the mine. Leave the burrow there. I'll leave some money in a box next to the rock. Anything you say, big boy. Thank you. <laughs> Aquí. 
I, I got to tell you, I got my own work to do. You better hire somebody else. All right. Go on back. I said go on back. I just want to talk to you. Hey, what's the matter with you? I just want to talk to you. Maybe I even let you hire me. That's local. I can still hear the bullets whistling by my ear. He tried to kill me, I tell you. I never saw such a man. What'd I tell you? Hugh, call the sheriff. Wait a minute, Harvey. Calm down. Calm down? Juan could have got killed. It could have happened to any one of us. He's right, Reverend. When a man starts shooting at people, he's got to sooner or later hit somebody. Please, don't call. What's eating you? He tried to kill someone. Maybe. Maybe Juan didn't pay any attention to the sign, and and Mr. What Wolf sign? just. Well, Harvey says there's a sign there now, a, a no trespassing sign. And you saw this sign, Juan? I don't read it, but you walked past it. A sign don't give the right to shoot a man dead. Juan, now I know you wouldn't lie. Did he fire over your head? Oh, this is not for us to settle. This is a problem for the sheriff. You were trespassing, Juan. That's against the law. The sheriff will just say Wolf had a right to shoot at you, even kill you. Did he shoot at you? Give me the sheriff's office at Crescent Lake. Well, he shoot into the air. But what for? I just want to see what he's doing up there. There's sure something wrong with a man like that. Oh, he's up to something. That's what I think. Taking a shot at Juan, it don't make sense. Well, I think it does. He was trying to say, very emphatically, that he wants to be left alone. And he was within his legal rights. Hugh, maybe you should cancel that call. All right. But he'll get no more supplies from me. You hear that? We won't talk to him or even admit to the fact that he's alive. And that's a Bible promise. Hello. No. No, my father wants to cancel the call. Thank you. All right, I'm closing up. Helen, lock up. You. When you slept on it, I, uh, I think you'll agree I was right. Good night. up now, Harvey. Can wait a while. I want to talk to you. Talk to me? Oh, what's so queer about that? It's late. Well, this is important, Ellie. You know why I come back up here, Ellie? Yes. Oh, you mean what old Cobb and the others say, that I couldn't hold a job down below? Isn't that what they say? Yes. Well, I had a lot of jobs. Sure did. I left them because I didn't like them. I come up here because of you, Ellie. Your daddy's an old man. When he dies, I'll be good at the store running. What do you mean? I run the best store in the world for you, Ellie. You can't do it by yourself. Have you forgotten? 
pardon that you tried to. We were just kids. I was. You weren't. If... If my father knew that you... You wanted to marry me... He knows. He knows what? That you want to marry me? That. And Ellen, he knows. That you tried to. Nothing happened. He knows that. And he wants me to marry you? Yes. I don't believe you. Now, you ask him now. He's right in there. Ask him. Forget it, Hugh. I told you she wouldn't. You're going home. I'll take care of it. It's a matter of confidence, you. What did she say? She asked me the same thing I'm going to ask you. Can you really want her to marry Harvey? Yes, sir. On my word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. But I can't believe that you really know what happened between I them. know exactly what happened. Harvey told me. That she was only 14, and he tried to... To kiss her. He told me that when he came back last May. Look, she'd think she's being attacked if some man tried to brush some dust off her skirt. And you can really make yourself believe that? Yes, sir. I don't have to make myself believe it. It's true. All right, Hugh, all right. Maybe he didn't try to... Unfortunately, try or not, he didn't succeed. But why Harvey? Of all the men, why him? He's the only eligible man up here. Up here, yes. But she tried to leave here twice, didn't she? Before yes, but he she came was back. afraid. She's scared of the world. She's afraid of men, and she makes men afraid of her. Look, Reverend, all I want is a normal life for my daughter. Now, Harvey loves her, and if I seem to be pushing too much, it's, well, it's because I love her, too. Don't you realize? Don't you see what a, uh, sick thing you're doing? What are you talking about, sick? This isn't for Ellen. You're not doing this for her. Everything I do is for Ellen. Why? Because I love her, that's why. Oh, do you? What do you mean by that? Do you really love her, Hugh? You love her so much you can't bear to think of her leaving you. Even if you have to marry her to Harvey to keep her here? Boy, you...
I'm... I'm sorry I came past the sign. I, I called, but no one answered. It's all right. I, I was thirsty. Th there wasn't any water inside. Thank you. You bring that up alone? The delivery truck driver helped me load the burrow. It's a long way up here. Yes. I'm sorry to put you in all the trouble. I plan to go down after it myself. Thanks. It's all right. Can you make it back down all right before dark? Yes, I know the mountain. Goodbye. Thanks again. Jesse Graham was by today. He's going to build a new shed over the water line. Needs lumber. He always said he was going to fix it. Yeah. But he is now. I figured we could make a deal on the wolf delivery. Don't. Please don't. Don't make a deal with him? Don't do what you're doing. Ellen, I'm in business. When a deal comes along, I make it. All right. If it'll give you pleasure to make me say it, I'll say it. I took the lumber to Mr. Wolf. You did? You know I did. Before I ever walked in that door, you knew I did. You're just doing this to, to hurt me, to, to make me say that... Say what, Ellen? What? That I disobeyed you. You went to him. No one else would. So you did, after you heard what I said. I know he's a good man, a gentleman. <laughs> Sorry. I had no place else to go. You mean you came all the way up here at night alone? I had to. Well, uh, it's cold out here. Would you like to come inside?
please forgive me for coming here. I, I didn't stop to think what I was doing. I just ran. From what? I'm not sure. I just know that it was something ugly that I can't even think about. Something to do with me? Did I cause it? No. It was my father. He... I can't talk about it. I just had to run as far away from him as I could. You didn't run far enough. He'll come after you. He won't know I've gone till morning. May I stay here? T till sunrise. I I'll go back then. I'll, I'll stay with someone till Saturday. Saturday? That's when the truck comes up. I'll leave then. May I stay? Sure. Will you talk to me? Well, I'm kind of like you. I, uh, talking doesn't come easy for me. kind of country, Montana, ranch. Not much of a ranch, rocks mostly, no neighbors. But my folks, my brother and I liked it. Why did you leave? Government decided they needed the land to build a dam. They took it over, gave us some money, we moved to Missoula. Folks died, my brother went into the army. They wouldn't take me. Why? They didn't have a uniform that fit me. Or shoes, either. <gasps> Just too big. That's been my problem ever since. Small men resent me on sight. Sometimes I don't even know it. People stare at me on the street. Maybe they stare at you because they admire you. Then one day I met an old man at a quarry where I was working. He was a timekeeper there. That's been about three years ago. He told me all about this place. It was a dream he had to trace out enough gold to spend the rest of his life here. He died. I decided I'd like to try his dream. Solitude? Yes. I had a lot of that when I was young. I liked it. I had too much of it. But... But I'm afraid of things. I tried to leave here twice. The first time I... I couldn't even get on the truck. The second time I got... ten miles away and... walked back. You think you'll make it this time? I have to. And as I was sitting there in my room, listening to my father at the door, I... I suddenly realized that he hadn't helped me those times I tried to leave. Oh, he... He pretended that he wanted whatever I wanted. But he didn't help me. He... He could have... He could have taken me down to Crescent Lake and stayed with me just... just till I wasn't afraid anymore. But he didn't. that Harvey is sick and mean, and he is. But 
my father wants me to marry him. Are you sure? Yes. But I don't know why. I don't know why. Well. Is my daughter up there? Yes, she is here. She's getting ready. Hold it. Get up. Get away from here before one of you gets hurt. I'll see your daughter gets home all right. A leg. I've been hit. up to. I don't know. But keep you right. Watch it. Alan! What have you done to my daughter? One of you shot her. How bad is it? I don't know. Somebody better tell that big fella to get a move on if he wants to live. I'll get him. Then you're going. Yes, I am. You could stay now. They'd let you. Now, what I wanted, uh, well, it's not on that mountain or any other mountain. Where will you go? I'll stay in town for a while, maybe get myself a job. If you need any help when you come down, get in touch with me. I'll let the sheriff know where I'm staying. Thank you. Sheriff's all ready to leave. Mr. Wolf, you're leaving. That's right. What was it that Supreme Court Justice said? Well, he said the right most valued by civilized man is the right to be let alone. 